Yo, Giamo, it's been a minute, gang. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Giamo, and I'm very excited to make you another video. First of all, off the bat, bro, 85000 for the property in Puta Cana? The fuck? How much land did you get, my man? Firstly. Secondly, OnlyFans link at the beginning of the video. Th uh, fucking water tag is kind of crazy, gang. Just wanted to let you know. But I get it. Get your shit off. Because this looked like a screening. Like, this looked like some, you know what I'm saying? On the couch. And you got some electrical issues right there. I don't know if you can see this. Some You need to do some work on him. I ain't gonna lie. But let's get straight to this video, though. So, she I'm gonna be talking about... Yeah, bro. Hold on. Double cheek. Th Yo, you paying for the... What? About my experience you know buying property money, in Dominican Republic. Specifically in Punta That's Cana. That's not the motherfucker. But before I... Man... Should, matter of fact, this is a paid actor, my nigga. I'm gonna keep it on it with you. This is not the real estate agent, man. She ain't got I get no into the details of the transaction. I'm gonna start in Puerto Plata. So, when I first wanted to buy my second property here in Dominican Republic, I started looking in Puerto Plata. I really wanted to find something in the POP because I yeah, have a little really studio here like in Sassuolo, which I've talked about before. And so I wanted to find something in Puerto Plata because I know a lot of people there. Specifically, I know a lot of chicas. <laughs> so yeah, I know it would have been nice to be over there and also have the studio spot here in Sasua. So that's kind of you know where I was thinking at first. But right. as I started to look at the options, and I said this in some of my live streams. Where are you buying property or are you buying like like land? Like how how what you doing? Like you or are you buying like businesses? And like what? But my budget was between seventy-five to a hundred thousand U.S. dollars. That was the budget that I was looking at when I was looking in Puerto Plata. There have... were some options, but to be honest with you, there weren't a lot of. Yo, Giamma, you getting bread? My fault. I ain't, I ain't gonna pause no more. I'm gonna let you talk. I'm gonna let you talk. Great options within that budget range. Some of the areas I looked at were Gran Parada, Torre Alta, El Doral, and others. In Torre Alta, there were some really nice three-bedroom, two-bathroom options. But most hey, yo, of them were a little bit a above the $100,000 range. Also, another Jordan popular Jersey. area in Puerto Plata is Coast on Bar. Yo, a lot of foreigners buy yeah, property in the him. area because it's close to the beach. There were some properties that were in the budget that were nice, you know, but specifically in Coast on Bar, there were a lot of places yeah, that yeah, were yeah, yeah. one bedroom. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, can we talk about it real quick? I want you niggas to know. Hold on. Let me talk. Let me, let me talk directly to, to y'all, bro. I know niggas that take pictures and shit like that. You feel me? Gangster, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with this. This nigga does not have no professional camera on right here, bro. I want y'all niggas to know. Y'all can start with these. Not just, you know what I'm saying, with that. But in general, my nigga, it's, this right here, the 15, whatever the fuck phone you got, my nigga, you can make it happen. The nigga got 30 chicas out in DR spending 100K on some fucking property, and he's getting right. This nigga just had a Puma Puma shorts. I never even seen that before with the fucking slot with the chocolate dogs, nigga. Y'all niggas can do anything you want to do, my nigga. Anything, nigga. Get that passport and make it happen, bro. I'm sick of you niggas. Gangster, bro. I'm dead tired of y'all niggas, bro. Start today. You can do it, nigga. You can do it. And to be honest, for those tell, that are pulling up, telling the vibes, yo, pull up. I got the I'm about to take your professional pictures. This nigga is taking this shit off of 14C. Fuck am I talking about? He's taking pictures off a of 10C, bro. An iPhone. And y'all niggas is lazy, bro. Get to it. Okay. Take these and that's what you're going to find a lot of. If you have a budget between 75 right, to 100,000 US dollars, <laughs> and you're looking in Sasua or Puerto Plata or, Carp or Carparete, you're going to find a, some nice options within that budget range. Wait, but a lot of times, it's going to be wait, a one bedroom, BBLs? one bathroom. I you're not going to find too mean, much that's two built. bedroom, Something two I bathroom, like you know, or above. And why is it like that? I, I don't really know. But the prices yeah, in the North Coast are Niggas actually a little bit higher than in Punta Cana. You know we up because here. the prices were a little bit outside of my budget. You know we pulled up here for, man. Don't piss me off. Budget. I was like, you know, I'm not really liking what I'm seeing here. So I moved my search to Santa Domingo. Now, in Santa Domingo, there are a lot of great options within the budget range that I mentioned. I really like Santa Domingo Este. That's primarily where I was looking. If you look in Distrito Nacional in Santa Domingo, the prices do get a little steeper. Oh, hold because on. Because that's, that's an no area where hold on, hold on. some of the wealthiest... No disrespect. No disrespect. You feel me? No disrespect. But what are you doing? 
I ain't gonna say what I want to say, but you bugging out. Dominicans, out. also Wrap foreigners, up, live in the country. So in Distrito Nacional, this you're going to be hard pressed to find something, not at least find something decent within the seventy-five to hundred thousand know dollar range. Because uh, the scenery, be bro, but the back, I would, shorty is outside Dolly, mad late, streetlights on. Feel me on the on the corner, gang. This looks kind of wicked, bro. Don't get cased up, my nigga. They are casing niggas up. It's primarily looking in San Domingo Hopefully Este, in areas to, such as Los Frailes, La Isabelita, Las Americas, Mirador del Este, and some others. Damn. A lot of the places I went to were a two-bedroom or three-bedroom, two-bathroom apartments. Very spacious, and a lot of times the apartments were very good. I'm going to DR. But the area surrounding the apartment, well... You know, it looked a little, uh, looked a little janky. You know, <laughs> even though for me personally, I, I know that's just Dominican the Republic. Back. There are a lot of places that look maybe a little hood, but actually, it's a mid or even maybe middle upper class type neighborhood. Uh, because of the looks, like though, on the outside, I decided to continue on with my search because I was really looking for something that was more kind of a chill, a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more almost kind of like a mini suburbia. That's kind of the look I was really going for. So I decided to not go with San Domingo with the San Domingo option, even though I will say again, within the budget of seventy five to one hundred thousand dollars, there are a lot of great options, especially in San Domingo Este, because I will say that they're building that up and that could be uh, definitely a very good future investment. But anyways, I moved my search to Punta Cana and to be honest with you. When I began looking, I had seen some listings on Facebook Marketplace, also on uh, Mercado Libre of Punta Cana. And I realized, you know, Punta Cana is, is far away from my spot in Sosua. It's about six to seven hours on the bus. It's about you know, five or six hours if you drive. So it is pretty far away. But I will say this, and I don't know why this is, but the prices are cheaper in Punta Cana compared to Puerto Plata. I don't know why that is. You know, someone in the comment section. Can I just want to know, like, right? How, like... Are you like niggas, you know what I'm saying? How did you start? <laughs> like get a nigga get a niggas the sauce, bro. Just you just went out there and you just started sparking it off. Like, yo, feel me, I'm from America. Uh, I'm a, my son my I ain't gonna lie, my son Giamma might be my son might be Dominican, I ain't gonna lie. But I'm just saying, like, the nigga I remember when son we had like four valid ones, like four solid. This nigga done branched out. You know what I'm saying? Olive branch. You know what I'm saying? Tree, the, the nigga has sprouted out and grown roots in many different places. This man is a, a multi-talented young, young nigga. I'm going to keep it on it. Feel me? And he out there doing it. You feel me? I'm, I ain't going to be like this, but I'm just saying. Like, DR, you know what I'm saying? Let a nigga know what they need to do for DR. You know what I'm saying? Columbia and all that. Why? Right. can explain that. I don't know why, but it is it is what it is. So there are well, those might be poor feet. Those might be bad feet, gang. You know what I'm saying? Ice out, do a little bit better with the with her feet. way more options, way better options. If you have a budget between Just seventy-five like, yeah, to one hundred thousand uh, dollars, there's like, way wow. more in Punta Cana. When I say Punta Cana, I'm talking about the Blue Mall Airport area, Beirón, and also like, Barbara. Oh, there's way more hey, options yo, there than in Puerto Plata. So you know. Long story short, I yeah, did find something that I really like in Ciudad del Sol, which is in Veyron. Caked up like this? We know exactly what's going and on. And at first, actually, I found a two-bedroom, two-bathroom house, and I was going to go with that. But the seller, I, I don't know, so, something seemed a little off. I'm worried about Like, you need to pay his mortgage control. first and then pay the bank and do the, you know, all these things. So it, something just seemed a little I'm off. Right, so I decided not to go with him. But then I found it's an American guy who was selling a, a townhome in, in Ciudad del Sol. And I ended up buying that for 85000 US dollars. But he, and he sold it empty. If I had bought it for 90000 then he would have kept it furnished. But I, I but. He sold it empty for eighty-five thousand. So, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, the process yeah. went very smoothly. You know, something I will say is that I was talking to to one lawyer who was going to look over the transaction, but he was trying to charge me five thousand dollars to look over the whole, you know, transaction and whatnot. See, you know, and this, look, once again, this was, you know, I purchased the townhome for eighty-five thousand right. dollars. <laughs> so, Giamo, well, you can't fool me, nigga. I knew something wasn't right. Yo, this nigga Twitter is buggery. I knew it, man. I knew it. 
the fact that he was trying to charge five thousand, you know, is is crazy. It, it was a little crazy. So I ended up calling another lawyer, which he took care of everything, you know, and things went very smooth. Everything worked out very well. So if you want Yo, to know uh, the number of that lawyer, All right, come on, I ain't gonna lie, you going down in the va in the quality game, like not in the video quality, but you get you for me. You understand? We talking? We grown man? You understand what I'm saying? Before the quality used to be, you know, what I'm saying stern. You had a solid four. Now you kind of getting beside yourself, my man. You got a little too much dip on your chip paws. I'm just saying, relax. This ain't what it's all cracked up to be, my man. Put a little bit more effort into what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I get it, though. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's not in the, you know what I'm saying, in the qualifications. You're looking at a couple other different things. And I respect that. You feel me? I can't tell you what to like. But come on, man. This, what we doing? And, and he only charged me a thousand dollars for the you know the eighty five thousand dollar townhome transaction, which you know is is reasonable. Yo, that that makes, that Yo, makes sense. You know, but if you want to know the number of that lawyer, check out the Patreon. Actually, I already have that number. Uh, I actually have that, that information up, so you can you know go on there. And if you have any other questions, you can always you know go over to the Patreon. You know, ask me and all that all, the, all that good stuff. But yeah, but the lawyer looked over all the transactions and everything went very smoothly. Wired the money, all that good stuff. Everything worked out. So, I was very pleased with the situation. Oh, this now, now, I just have this to buy the furniture and get all... Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, man. Three to one me? And he bought the spank after? Yo, bro, let me know. You could tell a BBL influence. Son is about to blaze and of itself so but from start to finish uh the whole process took about uh three weeks so guys that's just my experience as it relates to buying property in the dominican republic right, if you have any other questions okay. please feel free to write in the comment section and i'm sure other people the fucking real estate agent man get the <laughs> this nigga giama went out there to film strictly pause i ain't gonna say the other word yo shout out to my son man do your thing yo y'all niggas be safe out there Every four months, get tested and wrap it up, man. I don't give a fuck where you at. Don't trust it. You heard? It's for your protection, your safety. Y'all niggas wigging. All right, we out, though. Gangster.